out there i am here i'm approaching hi guys welcome back to my channel it's bambi here again and if you're a returning subscriber thank you and welcome and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe like and share the video so i'm here to deliver on my part two promise of the perfume collection video and let's get straight into the video the first perfume I want to talk about is C by Giorgio Armani. This particular perfume. It smells powdery, sweet, floral. It smells like day-to-day -day girl perfume. It's more of like a romance perfume if you want to smell romantic. This is the kind of perfume you go in for. It's more of like a summer vibe kind of perfume. It smells really sweet. Really, really sweet. So the top note of Giorgio Armani is vanilla, fruity, powdery, rose, musky, woody, floral, soft and spicy so if you want a perfume that smells more of the vanilla type sweet romance type of scent then Giorgio Armani is the perfume to go in for the C in the pink color it comes in different colors I've seen like the clear glass and then the red one and personally I love this one so C is a perfume I can recommend for you if you want to smell like the next door girl the girly girl the summer vibe girl the rosy kind of girl the vanilla scent girl like a more sweet approach to your scents the next perfume I'll recommend for you is Elisa I hope it's focusing this particular perfume Elisab is a Lebanese brand perfume and Le Parfum de Sensier. I hope I'm saying it right, but this is more of a fruity scent. It smells fruity, fresh, clean, and strong. It has this strong, fruity, clean scent. If you want to smell like you're out there, I am here, I'm approachable. This is the perfume to go in for because. When you put it on you, you smell approachable. You smell, hello, I'm here to make friends. That's the kind of vibe this perfume gives me. It smells like I'm ready to be friends with you. This doesn't smell romantic. It smells more, more of like a friendly approach to life. So Elizab is a perfume to go in for if you want to smell fresh, fruity, approachable, smell like the bad bay you are and more of the approachable bad bay you are so the top notes of elisa is orange blossom jasmine in the hat and yeah it's a lebanese fashion designer perfume and it smells so fresh i am not a, i don't hate, hate this perfume but i don't love it also because I don't want to be approachable <laughs> at times at times I do at times I do not but like mostly I won't put this perfume on me most of the time because it smells too fresh I am drawn to more sweetie perfumes but this particular perfume smells very 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 fresh and clean and squeaky clean so if you want to smell fresh and squeaky clean Elisa is a perfume to go in for and personally I like the bottle the style of the bottle and the design of the bottle is key and that is what drew me to this perfume so if you want to like smell fresh Elisa is a perfume to go in for and it's within your budget moving on the next perfume on the list is Bergari and it's the rose goldia I hope I'm saying it right but is this particular perfume this perfume smells seductive it smells really mysterious like there is this seductive approach of the perfume I hope I am right about this because how I smell my perfume and interpret it might be different from how you smell your perfume and how you interpret your perfume so from my point of view this particular perfume smells like sensitivity 
if I'm to say it right, it smells soft and seductive. It smells more like a bedroom scent, so I personally put it on at night when like, I'm going out to chill, when I want to like draw attention to myself. This is the kind of perfume I will use because it smells nighty night, evening seduction, and a bit powdery too. So the top notes of Bulgari gold, Rose Goldia, yeah, I hope I'm saying it right, is white incense, the mask, Rose Absolute. I don't know if it's an ingredient in perfume, but that is the top note of this particular perfume. So if you want to smell like seduction, this is the perfume you have to go in for because it's going to give you all the seduction you need in your life. So this perfume is next on the list and it smells like fruits. It smells more fruity. It smells like spring, like a spring scent. It smells fruity, it smells fresh. It smells like the name it is called because nothing can really explain how this perfume smells like but it smells like a girly girl perfume like a daily girly girl perfume and the top notes of daisy love is floral fruity woody musky powdery and sweet as i said it smells really sweet it smells innocent like if you want a perfume that makes you have that innocent vibe i think this perfume will do for you so there we have it daisy love by mac jacobs next on my list i have Burberry touch for women this particular perfume so this perfume is next on my list and is really within your budget when you spray it on yourself at first it's irritating but the more it dries down it, it like it flows with your body scent and it smells like rich tangerine if i'm um, to say it smells more like a woody tangerine like a bent orange tree that's how i smell this perfume so if you want like a perfume that smells like fruits tangerine wood this is the kind of perfume you can go in for and it's so within your budget you cannot go wrong with this perfume at first when you spray it on it's really irritating but it takes time for you to love the perfume so the more you have it on your body and the more it melts into your skin it forms with the scent of your skin and it moves with your vibe so if you are in a high positive energy for the day i think this perfume would do for you and the top notes of Burberry is woody white floral warm spicy vanilla floral that's what i said it smells like burnt orange tree to me it smells like wood but a well, wood of a uh, like it smells like wood but like a wood of a fruit so if you want that perfume that is within your budget you don't you don't need to like apply much on your skin it's going to do it for you so this is within your budget and it's the scent you can go in for if you want a fruity woody vibe next on my list i think this collection has a lot of arab perfumes but next on my list is esprit de vasali this perfume you can see i've just used a little of it because it's strong this perfume is like the bump on your skin it smells so strong and so powerful you don't have to like put a lot on your skin the little will do for you don't stress it and this perfume smells like smells like an expensive restaurant like that vibe you get when you enter into like an expensive place or like an expensive restaurant with like kings and queens dining like it smells like an expensive place it has this expensive ambience to it it smells like rich arab oils that's how i i smell this perfume i don't know how you are going to interpret it at your end but for me that is how i smell the perfume so this perfume smells more like 
the rich Arab anti vibe. So the top notes of Esprit de Versailles is wild rose, blackberry, and then violet leaf. That's what I said. It smells like oils, like Arabian oils on your skin. That's the vibe this perfume gives me. So this. I would probably wear this perfume to like an occasion, like a wedding or like any gathering. That's how I want to smell among the people. I just want to stand out and it's within your budget too. So if you want a perfume that's going to work for you and then make you smell great, this is on the list. The next perfume on the list is so common on Instagram, Pinterest, even on TikTok. And I, I think like every lady owns a bottle because of the snake skin design and then the chain attached to it. I know you know the perfume that I'm going to talk about, but it, that is the last perfume on my list. And that is the Mac Jacobs Decadence. This particular bottle. If you are not drawn to the bottle at first sight, I don't know how you see things, but this perfume is the bottle for me <laughs> the skin the snake skin and then the chain it had like like a tassel connected to the chain but that is too much for me to handle so i just want it as simple as this and it's the mac jacobs decadence this perfume is so popular as the baccarat's rogue and it smells like nothing i can explain that is what i'm trying to tell you you can't tell how this perfume smells especially when you spray it on yourself you smell nothing but people around you are going to compliment you for putting this perfume on your skin because it smells different it smells like alien if i you know how an alien smells like i know how it's, they do smell but i don't but it smells like nothing you understand that is how this perfume speaks to me and the top notes of um decadence is champagne bergamot orange blossom and the middle note is gardenia and the base note is vanilla so it's like a lot of things mixed together into one bottle of perfume so it smells different as you warm up to the perfume when you spray it on your body it's going to smell different different ways with the every level that you sweat to if i'm to explain it very well to you it doesn't hold one scent it warms up and it smells differently and it stays on so long on your clothes even on your skin when you take a shower you can still smell this perfume on you and in your clothes too after even washing them you still have that leftover perfume scent in your clothes it can last up to like 48 hours if i am not going to lie but this perfume is one of the perfumes you have to add to your collection if you want to smell bougie and bad all these perfumes i've talked about so far are good and they stay longer on your skin the way you smell is so important tea. you cannot go around smelling like nothing just leave a little trail of your perfumes behind and i am sure you attract the right kind of people into your life i am at the end of the video and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like and comment on the video if you have other perfumes out there you want me to try leave the names in the comment section and i'll try to get a bottle and try them out for you thank you for watching see you next time bye